from Matthew Mott Sports Fishing. This last week, this time of year actually, it's ice chicken. You hear me talking about ice chicken in reports and a lot of people are wanting to know about it. I've had a lot of uh, inboxes and stuff, people want to know how it is. So we're here today with the smack ice jigs, obviously you know I'm going to use those. And I had a lot of people ask me the two different types. So in the video that you're going to see, we have the first one. This is a called a darter, as you can see. Reason being, it has a small tail and it darts around. So that's I use that a lot for when I'm chasing individual fish on my sounder. I'm not trying to cover a lot of ground or I'm near timber and I don't want it to move so far. The next one, the glider. It's probably the most popular one. I use this a lot on open flats when I'm out. I use it as a searching bait, casting out in front, moving over to it, and I want to cover a lot of ground. You'll see this in the video. It probably covers a ring of two or three metres. So look, hope this helps you out. Check out the video, Matthew Mott Sports Fishing. See ya. to the water so as soon as it hits the bottom I'm in control of it. If you have it up here then you've got to wind the line back up. So I'm holding it down and all I'm doing is like that. Straight up. Like that. <laughs> three cast three fish that's good. <laughs> that's how you catch fish on ice jigs. Once again down just letting it free spill down rod down and just all I'm doing is thumbing that just thumbing it so as soon as it hits the bottom I'm on and then flicking it keeping that line tight so I'm just dropping it as the rod goes so sometimes when I get a few flicks you want to try and keep it yep. as vertical as you can yeah, as, soon as, you get that angle, as soon as you get the angle they won't work the same because they end up drifting off too much I'm just clicking it down in the bottom and, and all it is is I've just got this hand here yeah. and I'm just using that as just give it that flick free on it because every time you're moving a little bit one or two foot just and on. a couple of if you if you think about it and you're and these fish are hard on the bottom yeah. so with a with a spin reel, you've got to keep open your bail arm. Yep. With a bait caster, you can just free spool right. it down. Yeah. And if you're this far off the bottom, yep. they won't eat it. Yep. So this time of year, when they've stacked on the bottom, they want to be close to the bottom. Yep. So be, with that bait caster, you can click it, yep. click it, click it, and yep. keep it on the bottom. Where yep. there's spin, you've got to jig, yep. jig, stop, open your bail arm that's up, right. click it back over. Yep. So that's why we like to use a bait caster, just so we can keep control of it the whole time. Yep. Just using like 14 pound, 12 pound litre. I don't tend to use much less than that with ice jigs because you are jigging them a fair bit and you can get a few bust offs. He is just totally engulfed that. That fella's just engulfed that whole ice jig. Alright, you have a crack at this. The other thing too is I always like to do, just check that leader, you can see that's all getting fruffed up now. Because it's a pretty violent action, just yeah. keep an eye on that. Yeah, just see that. That's why I tend to use a little bit heavier yeah. leader with them because it is, they're not eating it out of, because um, no. it's jumping around a lot, so they're not gonna, they're not really shy. That's right, yeah. You on the bottom? Yeah. Like that. Oh, no, 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 don't strike. Let him eat it. Oh, Lick. oh shit, he's Lick. still there. Just keep doing it, keep doing it. You just, you just keep, keep doing it, keep doing it. Yep, yep, you're on. <laughs> well done, mate. That's fucked up. I can't believe it. It's oh, smack ice jig. Oh! <laughs> Have a look at that, Garmin. That is insane. 